Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an absolutely amazing day today. First, I do plan on sharing the house renovations, but because in my opinion, I felt like things are moving fairly slowly, I didn't want to do like a continuous, uh, like dragging on of the content. I really want when I share with you guys everything that I'm able to give it to you back to back to back so you can kind of see everything. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look of the bathroom once I'm done. But really and truly, I am here because I have a huge announcement. So the announcement that I'm going to be making is Bed Bath & Beyond is back and it's better than ever. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Overstock. So Overstock is bringing over their home decor and just home items over to Bed Bath & Beyond. And now you'll be able to shop not only your home essentials, but also home decor, which is why I'm currently in my bathroom. You guys already know I am definitely team white towels. I need some, um, I need some refill bottles for the niche. This right here, there was a towel rack, took it off yesterday. I've been online looking at some towel racks i've been online just looking for some organization for the new vanity that's going into the bathroom i'm even looking for a cute little acrylic tray to go over the tub so that way i can put some like essential things when i'm taking the bath i'm actually really excited about the two companies coming together because i love both so the fact that we cannot go on the site to get it I really do love it. I'm going to be leaving a link for you guys to shop and also let me know what are some of the things that you're interested in. I want you guys to see what we've been doing. It's a hot mess y'all. It's a hot mess and I promise you I didn't leave anything out. I really recorded from beginning to end of everything. So I'm going to order some stuff. When the items start coming in of course you're going to get to see them but I'm really excited. Let me show you guys what's going on currently. I jump into sharing with you guys the new space I wanted to give you a little bit of insight of what the house looked like before but keep in mind that I am going to be sharing the full footage with you but I wanted you guys to see this space now and as you can see that green color did not go away that lock on the door I really feel like it should be on the other side so I think I'm going to do some tweak with it but I love the fact that the doors open and go back in this way. I thought about changing the door or leaving it open, but I opted just to go ahead and leave it once it was painted. It's not painted now, but it's painted. You guys will see the update, of course. And this is what the bathroom looked like before. I will say the shower was like a four by four and it had a jacuzzi tub. And you can kind of see the bathroom isn't really that big. It's quite small considering the size of the home overall. I thought the bathroom could be a little bit bigger. And so I had a limited amount of space. The biggest thing with the renovations that are happening is I didn't want to do too much removal and moving things around because then, of course, it got a bit expensive. So when it came to decorative elements like trim and, of course, paint, me and babe actually tackled it. I'm sure you guys know I'm pretty handy, but the biggest thing for me is I didn't want to bother myself with tools, especially sharp ones when I was by myself, because I didn't want to get hurt, freak out, and then I didn't have any help or whatever, so I just stayed away from it. But when I spoke with him, he was definitely like for it, and I felt like we can do it. So I also want to mention that Bed Bath & Beyond also has tools power tools so if you're interested check that out too because we saved quite a bit of money but i'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of the updates in the bathroom now so um this is the current shower and tub combination area that's going to be there and i want to put the refill bottles right in this area here they're going to be pretty tall so i can do like shampoo conditioner and all of that the color is going to be gone when you walk into the bathroom i should say when we walk into the bathroom this hole is going to be covered here and we're going to put a towel rack right up in here and then i will put 
the refill bottles in here so you guys can see it. The walls in this space will be white simply because um, everything else is going to be pretty dark. The flooring is going to be a decent color. The vanity itself is dark. So I want to go ahead and just keep the walls light and then do a really pretty chandelier. This is a light fixture up here. The walls still got to get fixed. That's going to be a Bluetooth for uh, the air. And then this is the tub. It's going to go over there in terms of space. This is sheetrock. Babe's closet is back here. So we're really, really, really working. So we're really working extremely hard to get things done. Um, I'm going to highly recommend that while we're shopping that you guys shop too. The only thing that's left is the drain is going to change on this side right here. They're going to change that. The tub is going to go here. I'll do some more explaining later. But for now, I really do love everything. This was a joint collaboration. And when I say joint collaboration, Bay was like, I want this. Can we have that? And so we tried to find colors that was going to complement the both of us. So what you're going to be looking at is a new, I call it Metro Honey. It's going to be like a real nice look, which I love. I think it's going to be really great. And so overall, I'm happy with how things are turning out. I'm going to step back so you can see what it looks like in the bedroom because although the bathroom is still very much green, the bedroom isn't. Hold on. So right now I'm in the bedroom. I know the walls look so stark and white. It's not going to stay like that. I actually already figured out a color that I'm going to do. I just have to make sure the pigmentation is right. But I really love overall being able to be in here to pan into the room to see it looking like this. I love it, you guys. So basically, with all of that being said, I have to say that we are very, very excited to see everything come together. We will be on uh, Bed Bath & Beyond's website shopping because we need a lot of things. The really great thing is, the last time I was doing this, I essentially had to live in it, but I'm still renting, and so I get to kind of stay over there. I got like, two and a half more weeks left before we come, and things are going to be there. I will leave a wish list of some items that I'm looking at in the description box, so if you're just looking for some stuff, or if you're going through some renovations and you want to look at some options also so I can show you what I'm looking at. You can't see it now, but where the rack was, there's also an outlet because the tub used to be a jacuzzi tub. So they had a plug that was set up behind the wall. I told them to leave it so it's hidden on the other side. So once um, the towel rack comes, the electrician is going to come to set everything up. I'll be sharing the whole process with you guys. I'm currently looking at two different options for the towel rack. I will leave both. I will leave both options in the description box so that you guys can find it. But I mean, out of all the things that could have happened, Bed Bath & Beyond and Almost Not Coming Together is like the best thing that could have happened for Home Decor, I feel. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this. Not to worry, don't ask any questions in this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start recording back from then till now, which will definitely buy me some time to move in and get things situated and still record. But you'll get to see how the bathroom looks before and how it looks now, which for me, I feel like this is a 10 out of 10. I wanted to do a little bit more, but I was very much restricted because of space. But for what we have and what we've done, I'm very happy with it. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Before I let you guys go, I'm going to share a little bit more with you because I already know y'all. Y'all been waiting for an update on this house. And again, I'm just waiting to get a few more because I currently have four videos edited. But then it, we're at a standstill. And so I'm just going to wait and then I'll have more content and stuff because it's not just me right now. It's a lot of moving parts and I can't always record and then it's a lot. We'll talk about it later. But I just want to say the entire process of getting this together was really, really amazing. I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks to how we were able to save a little bit of money on the renovations because people were screaming out some high numbers on Instagram. And I was like, girl, if it was for that, this would not happen. I could just tell you guys right now, one of the biggest things is seeing this 
freaking green color go away visually you guys are like oh it's not a lot you guys can do it it's not a fix rubber but like once we got into the house it really required a lot of work and i'm not even trying to be funny or disrespectful when i say this so if you are this what i'm about to say it's not towards you okay if you know that you are not handy and you're not a perfectionist stay away from the diys Please stay away from the DIYs because the closet was like not the best. I don't know what it was doing. Again, no disrespectful to anybody, but it was like not good. There was some water damage. I'm definitely happy that we're starting to see the light because now the house is actually starting to like feel like our space and we're really 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 happy about that and look babe is dancing and hopping around and smiling and showing them pearly whites that was day one y'all i'm telling you right now we're like 28 days in and we are exhausted i'm talking feed her back her we're really kind of ready for this to be over because it's just been so much and we did do quite a bit considering that we hired contractors we still end up doing quite a bit of work into the house. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. Hold my hand, could you hold my hand, look me in the eyes. That's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Hold me closer. I wanna stay here with you. All that we have is each other now. Giving me your love, giving me your love. All that we have is each other. Now. Right now, we're just in the space of being grateful because we had some people kind of come in to pitch in some help. I had a client that donated time to do the electrical. And I will be leaving all the resources, everybody that pitched in and what they do and, and all of that, their license and everything. So you don't have to worry. So if you're in the Atlanta area, I will have contractors and everything. But for right now, if you're interested in seeing some of the things that I selected for the bathroom and just the renovation overall, because I feel like the space looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to actually move in and be in the space and live in it and like finish off the small details because uh, right now the house is giving me all the vibes. And happy shopping, you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.